EBITDA Studio? What does EBITDA mean? Today, I'm going to tell you. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So if you've seen my videos before, you might be wondering, what does EBITDA mean? And that's a valid question, especially since it is a made up word. So EBITDA that I spell E-P-I-D-A is not a real word, but it does have a really nice story behind it. So from 2009 to 2011, I had the amazing opportunity of living in Korea with my young family. And my youngest daughter at that time was a baby and she had big blonde curls and bright blue eyes. So to say that she got a lot of attention was an understatement. Literally anytime we left the house, people would come over to see her, they would wanna to talk to her and they would wanna take her picture. And she had her picture taken thousands of times by just random people that we ran into on the street. And she didn't mind this. She thought she was a celebrity or a princess. She would wave as she was going down the street in her stroller. One particular time that really stands out in my mind is when I was just with my youngest daughter in a stroller and we were on the city bus and we were going home on the bus and there was only a few people on the bus, but then it stopped outside of a girl's high school. And school must have been just letting out because high school girls started to stream onto the bus. And we were about halfway down in the middle of the bus. So of course, all these girls, when they got halfway, they stopped and they were talking to my daughter and. Um, taking her picture and seeing how cute she was. And the bus driver had to yell at them to keep moving back to fill up the bus so that they could all fit on. And there was probably at least 60 girls got on the bus because by the time they were all on, it was packed standing room only. And all the girls from the front and the back of the buses started passing their phones into the middle so that the girls that were around my daughter could be snapping her picture with all these phones that were coming in. So that was just one little example, but that kind of thing happened a lot. When, when people were paying attention to her and taking a picture, I began to hear this expression, yippada, yippada, um, a lot. And I didn't know what it meant at first. At first I thought it was baby or something to do with baby. And then eventually I found out it actually meant beautiful or cute, something um, along those lines. And we heard this expression so much that my daughter started calling her one doll that she named her doll, Yipida. So when I was starting to think of a name for my business, that expression kind of kept coming up in my mind and it was something that expressed how beautiful or nice something was. And so um, I thought of that, I wanted to spell it with an E because my name Elizabeth starts with an E. So EPIDA, E-P-I-D-A came out of that expression. So that name, EPIDA Studio, that is my tribute to the amazing people that I met when I lived in Korea and to the beautiful um, art form of Pujagi that I was able to discover, study and learn when I lived there and um, just how much I love that whole experience. So that's what even it means and that's what my whole philosophy is, is that we can make beautiful things and use them in our everyday lives to make our whole lives more beautiful. So if you're a maker and you enjoy quilting, pajangi, and embroidery, then be sure to follow Evita Studio for lots of inspiration and tutorials.